asleep. That's falling into ignorance. That's giving up your goal. Ah, remember, so there was something far more important. Now, no one can tell you about this. You have to see it for yourself. Let me restructure it for a moment, since I'm so good at artwork. Let us assume now you're now proceeding. One, two, three, four. You lose five. You lose five, and off you go on a tangent. You, you, if you're into this, you must see what kind of figures are represented in that tangent. In that drama, there's going to be a figure and an image. That image is of yourself. That figure is of yourself. That's why you can identify with it. See, the mystery of daydreams is how is it that we have them? How is it that we lose consciousness and slip out of this purposeful activity that we've been doing, which was watching the numbers? That's our goal, watch the numbers, that's all. How is it that we could fall into this? Well, that's easy. It's an image of ourselves. We identified with our own image. Therefore, this identification this identification that we have with that image propels us with it and it has a storyline and it has a drama and you want to collect both. You want to see whether you can get a very good description of that image, and you want to find something about that story. That story is terribly significant. That story is very significant. Because it's what you think follows if you have that image. <laughs> That's the problem, see? They go together. Given the image, why, you think it's quite natural that if you have that image, you're going to have that drama. And therefore, the content of the drama spills out naturally. No effort. You don't even have to think about it. It comes quite spontaneous, and you go off on your daydream. Remember, we said there's something terribly important about that, and that's this. Then, what happens? Oh! Let's see, what was it? What, what happened? You wake up. You fall asleep here. Now, this is a special kind of sleep. You forgot your goal. This is a forgetting, an amnesia. Right? This is a very interesting amnesia or forgetfulness. This is a very interesting forgetfulness. You forget your goal. You forget the fact that you're involved in a process. You forget you have a higher aim. That's right. That's what you do. Therefore, we need to look at this moment. This is the most significant thing in human experience right here. For some reason, for some reason, you wake up to the fact that it was a daydream that you were made this identification. And you know what that means? Several things. One is the drama played itself out to the point where you couldn't go any further. The image doesn't go any further. It reaches a wall. That's why you wake up. Or, or what is most interesting, some external sound or something might interrupt it sufficiently strong that you then have to wake up and see that that's not you. That's the key. Hey, you know what? When you wake up, the reason you wake up is you recognize that that thing isn't me. That's not me. I don't have to identify with that. That's enlightenment. That's a mini enlightenment. You recognize you are not that image. Another word for the image is a mask, a persona. Right? It's a persona. It's a mask. It's not us. It's a mask we wear. A mask that we learn to put on. A mask that we know what we get for it. 
We know how to manipulate with that mask. In the daydream, then, it reaches a point where you wake up and see that's not you. That's a moment of the, that is the moment where you recognize something is not you. That's not you. That's not worthy of you. You wake up. Hey, look here. To wake up to the fact that there's an underlining false image of the self is a kind of enlightenment. That's a species of enlightenment. Therefore, you want to study this. What is it like at that moment, at the precise moment when that occurs? Contrast it with that moment here when you're falling asleep, where you're losing your goal and slip into the image. You have to contrast the two. Because in this state, you gain back something very important. You get back your interest. You get back your energy. When you identify with this figure, you are propelled, but you have to keep going the whole drama. That's draining. That's draining. Now, some people have discovered a way of making it work. At other times, they may use the excitement of something else. Uh, sometimes identifying with a figure in a movie, in a TV, or a novel, or a story. Go along with it. See yourself as it. That's another way. It works. Sometimes it's necessary to sustain this, where sometimes many sexual fantasies are used, not because if someone has an interest in sexuality, but sexuality gives a certain energy. The sexual energy is going to be released for the purposes of maintaining the tangent, the fantasy, the daydream. That's what you need to propel it. Therefore, at that moment when you wake up, would you not agree? For a moment, there's energy. There's alertness. With that alertness and that energy available, for a split second, you are clear. No image of the self operating. That doesn't last long because the other one comes back in and then you might call yourself the following names for wasting your time on a tangent. That's part of feeling inadequate. I mean, you have to have reasons for being inadequate and thinking you're inadequate. And one of the best ways of doing it is to say, see, I wasted my time on daydreams. I, here I had a goal. And now you punish yourself in one way or belittle yourself or criticize yourself. All of these come out of this picture. So you get two stories. You get the tangent. And then you get what I call the judgment of the fantasy. How do you, what kinds of things do you say about yourself for doing that, for not staying on your goal? They go together because the judgment is further fuel that, that convinces you that this image you have of yourself is right. Where in reality, in reality, what you're doing is you are meditating. This is meditation. Why is it meditation? Because you have an idea in your mind. It shapes an image, an attitude. Every gesture is involved in that image. That image then can take its form in fantasies and tangents, spontaneous ones. It can give you all the material you need for this story. Now we want to work on the story. Now we want to work on the story. 